Hey all, I hope you're well. I'm back with yet another DayZ guide and this time it is regarding base flags. This is a totally new feature that DayZ implemented with their 1.09 update a few weeks ago. I will try to explain its purpose and how to build one for your base and why you should have one. As always with my guides, I will try to keep it short and straight to the point. So let's get started. First of all, base flags were implemented as a tool to somewhat automate the persistence of the bases in this game. Simply put, if you don't have a base flag in your base, your structures, such as fences, gates and watchtowers, will despawn. If you have a flag up and active, everything within 60 meter radius will be persistent as long as your flag is up. Let me say this again, as long as your flag is up, your base is persistent and structures within 60 meter radius will not despawn by itself. After each lifetime refresh tick, your flag will drop lower and lower and you have to manually raise it back up to reset it. When you reset the flag, it resets the persistence for all base items and structures within that radius automatically. Bases with active flag will have infinite persistence. So how do you make one? What tools and materials do you need? Well, here is a text with a complete recipe for a full flagpole and a flag, so feel free to screenshot it. I will also attach this in the description of this video. First, you need a flagpole kit. You can craft this by combining rope with three short sticks. First option will be to craft fence kit, so you have to select the other one that is for the flagpole. If you have trouble finding rope, you can craft one by combining two stacks of six rags each together. You can get rags from cutting up most of the clothing around. Once you have a kit set up, it will tell you exactly what you need for each step. And this may be tricky because each step requires different tool to complete. I will list all the tools for each step in the description below as well, or simply take note on which tools I am using throughout this video. So, first step. After placing the flagpole kit, you will need to build the support. For this, you will need one wooden log and a sledgehammer to nail it in after you put wooden log in the kit. Second step, you will need 32 large stones and 6 more wooden logs. Wooden logs are easy, but getting large stones may be trickier. You will need to get a pickaxe and you will need to find the right rocks. Go to the rocky area and look for clean ones. As you can see here, some of these rocks, actually most of them, are not giving me the option to mine stones. You need to look for the ones that are clean. Most of them, if you take a closer look, have like a dirt or something on it. But the ones that can give you stones are clean gray rocks. This should make it easier for you to get them. You will need 32 of those, which means you will have to make multiple trips, but it shouldn't be too hard. Just make sure to repair your pickaxe as you go. Once you have all the stones and logs ready for the next step, you will need a shovel to complete this action. Shovel should give you an interaction to build a support, which is exactly what you're looking for. After you completed all this, it doesn't get any easier. Last step will require metal wire, rope, nails and more logs. Logs are easy. Rope you can pull off from the flagpole kit that you just made, but the nails and metal wire you will actually have to find and loot as you can't craft those. Once you find those, last step is required a hatchet to complete. I believe it should also work with hammer. After you complete this last step, your flagpole is ready to be used. All you need now is a flag. Flags are found and not crafted. You can find flags in schools, car wrecks or any other civilian house. They're not too rare, so you shouldn't have any issues. Once you attach your flag, you have to interact with it to raise it up. After you do that, your flag is active and your base is persistent for as long as you keep refreshing the flag by raising it all the way up. It takes 8 days for the flag to drop all the way down and after that it will be considered inactive and persistence will disappear. And that is it. This is how you build a flag to your base. Like I said, it is not something that you must have to have a base, but if you don't have it, you will have to interact with each structure manually by putting nail or planks in and out to re reset the persistence timers. Flag does all of this for you automatically. All you have to do is just manually raise it. 
I hope you guys found this helpful. I'm attaching more information and recipes in the description of this video. Let me know in the comments what guides you would like to see next or if you have any other questions about this game, feel free to join my Discord as I'm always available there. You can find the link in the description below as well. This brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it and as always, I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.